Hey YouTube, it's Sorin, also known as Mark. I finally get to make a video. I don't get the chance to make videos very often. Unfortunately, uh, I got a lot of stuff going on in the background, kids and whatnot, so trying to get some quiet time to make a video is almost impossible. Uh, so I figured out I would just do it in the middle of the night when everyone else is asleep. So the big question is, I got a second army and I went with dun dun dun, Tau. It was just too good of a deal to pass up. I spent $280 on the army. For that $280, I got five tanks, 11 crisis suits, four broadsides, four piranha, 60 fire warriors, 24 crew, four stealth suits, and 14 pathfinders. Uh, generally, I thought it was a pretty good deal, and I was, unfortunately, I've had bought some more stuff since then. I've bought a uh, another hammerhead. So it gives me six tanks all together, and with various upgrades for, and I have all the options now for all the hammerheads. I bought some forge rolled pieces. I bought a TX42 conversion kit for one of the piranhas. I bought a XV84 crisis suit kit, which I'm going to use as one of my commanders, which is just a really, really cool kit. I mean, if you're playing Tau, you got to get one of these forge rolled kits. The arms and the legs are, are completely posable. So you can do whatever you want to with it. You're not stuck with just the bent arms and the straight legs. And then I also bought a uh, plasma cannon turret for one of the hammerheads. And it's just a cool looking piece. I don't think very many people have one. And I think it's going to stand out. So it's been two months now that I since I bought this army. And I got actually most of it painted already. Uh, I didn't really do any highlighting or shading on the tanks and the, and the crisis suits. But I have on all the infantry. And of course I made my one of my patented... Uh, blue foam uh, carrying cases in the Black & Decker $15 Walmart toolbox. The uh, blue foam I get from work, that's what the Seagate ships their hard drives in. So that's what I was, that's what I use for my Warhammer stuff. Uh, I don't have a dedicated workspace, unfortunately. So you, know, you can grab the webcam and see what I've got going on here. This is just my desk in the living room right next to my TV. So this is what I got going on here. I'm working on um, another unit of fire warriors. I've got 30 fire warriors painted so far. Uh, so just two and a half units, obviously. Uh, and this is my next unit I'm working on. I've gone with a blue and gray paint scheme on all my stuff. This is actually uh, the main color is Fenris gray, which is a foundation color. Unfortunately, this webcam is manual focus, so I can't really do any details with Adaptus Battle Gray and Astronomicon Gray as highlight colors, as accent colors. Um, this is my workspace, just right here at my desk. So there's my TV, so the TV's always going on when you know, my kids are watching TV or the wife's watching. Uh, so that's why I can't really make videos, because you know, basically I have a living room and bedroom. Uh, not much room for a dedicated hobby space. There's my toolbox. This is what the toolbox I use. I've got two for the orcs, and now one for this. So over here we got gun drones. Drones, drones, drones. I've got a lot of drones here. On this side I keep... I should say I have magnetized absolutely everything in this army. Ugh, get this thing open. Diet Pepsi Max. This is what runs me at 3 a.m. So here's the other stuff I've done. Um, Battlesuit weapons. I've got just tons of individual battlesuit weapons that have little pieces of metal on them so for the magnets. Here are my hammerhead options. I've got my ion cannons and all the sky ray missiles which are all individually magnetized so I can just pluck them off the sky ray turret when it comes around. Lots of flying bases of course. Let's delve deeper into the Tau. Codex got that for free. 
So this is my blue foam. Okay, let's start with this. Here's one of my hammerheads. As like I said, I didn't do any highlighting or shading on the tanks because you know what? I really don't think they need it. The towel is definitely not. The towel is not Oryx. And this is the plasma cannon turret. I just love the way this thing looks. It's definitely not going to be something you see very often. Not everyone's going to have one. Um, I think it's a great looking accessory. And if you and I can actually play using the plasma cannon rules in my Escalation League. Um, for those of you who don't have the Taros campaign book, it is 48 inch range, a strength 7 EP2, heavy 2, twin linked. And it's magnetized. As is the tank. So it stays on there nice and tight. I also have can't really see them here, but on the bottom, right here next to my fingers, I have two magnets which I use for the seeker missiles. So we just grab one of my regular seeker missiles. I can just plug this right on the bottom of the tank. It stays there. When it comes to time to fire it, I just pull it off, and that's the end of it. Put it away. When we're trying to figure out if you fire the Seekers or not. Um, you also see the basing I use. It's a Gale Force 9. It's called a Marsh Blend, and I think it looks great. I've got one of my... One of my broadsides has magnetized arms for the plasma rifles, but only the one. There's a broadside. Here's one of my crisis suits. See, it's got... It's magnetized all the way around. It's magnetized all the way around. One on each shoulder, one on each arm. Take the weapon and clink. Burst cannons. So Twenty burst cannons. Put those on there. So you put the target lock on the arm. All kinds of fun things. So let's see. So everything's magnetized that way. Um, this is the one piranha I've done so far. Fusion blaster. Uh, one of my piranhas, of course, is going to be converted into TX-42. And another one piranha, piranha I have is actually an original Forge World uh, resin one. It's not a TX-42 resin one, it's just a resin piranha. I didn't even know they made them. my still suits. Now I did highlight, wash and highlight the infantry. 